um, they're thick books. I'm sure if I'm capable, I probably will continue for a few semesters. So I'm sure you're capable. <laughs> I'm sure you're capable. It's, All you need is the want. If you desire it, you'll do it. It's the no vowels that's frightening looking at those books. So yeah, I have had some of those books too. And there's no English, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. No English. <laughs> but I have to tell you, this course with you has given me a lot of confidence. And I find that when I'm in the synagogue and I lose my place, it's much easier for me to find where we are great. because of this class. It's been great. That's, that's great. That's great. So tr let's try this together, the Shema. Okay. One, two, three. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonai, Kadol Shemo, and then you're going to turn facing the ark, we're going to flip you. God lu Adonai iti une romema shemo yachtav. And then everybody's going to clear off the bima and they're going to take the Torah out. Okay. On days when um, there's two different Torahs, they take two Torahs. You know, and so, uh, but this is a, I don't think that's one of these days. I think it's just a regular Shabbat. It's Amor, Shabbat Amor. So I think you're good to go. And then they'll sing. And I always like this. It sounds like here comes the bride. Lecha Adonai, ha-gedula, v'ha-gevura, v'ha-tiferet, v'ha-netzach, v'ha-hod, ki-cho ba-shamayim u-varetz, da-da-da-da-da, here comes the bride. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm very self-conscious that I have a very, I don't have a good sense of tone or my voice is not melodic, but- It doesn't matter, it my, doesn't matter. Just say the words, <laughs> if you get spooked, say God, God, Lula Adonai Iti Una Roma Ma Shemo Yachtav. Just let me hear you just say it so that the, the saying of the words is correct. That's what's really, Counts. Okay. Yeah, I had trouble with that middle word, but now I think you've gotten me through that. Just God, say the line. God lu la donoi e t un ro mima shimo yachtav. Da 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 da. Un ro mima shimo yachtav. You're gonna be fine. And you know what? Everyone's going to say it with you. So here's the good thing. When you do Shema, now you'll say, you're going to say the line. So you'll give them time because you'll say Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. And everyone then wait, don't go into the second line. The whole congregation will repeat Shema. And then you'll say Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonai Gadol Shema. And everyone's going to repeat that. Okay. I'm glad so you give, told me that. Give yeah. Because it tells you, it says, the leader face yeah. the congregation, it, the following two are recited by the leader, and we and then you're going to go, God, Lula, Adonai, Unaroma, Mashimo, Yachtav. I think then everybody's going to say it together. Well, it does say there, the following two lines are recited by the leader, and we then repeat them. But you're saying I should pause in between? Yeah, yeah. You say, Shema, da, da, and then everybody says, Shema, and then Echad, Elohim, and then, yeah. Say the first line and pause, and they should repeat it. Then echad Eloheinu, and then we go echad Eloheinu Kadol Adonai Kadol Shemo. Then you, fa everyone faces the ark, and then I believe everybody together bows and says God Lul Adonai Tiyun Aroma Ma Shemo Yachtav. So you won't be left out there swinging in the breeze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's um, it's a little scary. Well, I actually have had um, the opportunity to do the blessing, you know, for the to for the Aliyahs, which is 
something I never Good. did growing up. So well, there you go. Getting so to do more things. Yeah, and and that's exciting. And today we're going to go over halal, and uh, we're going to start in a few minutes. Let me just check in who's okay. here. You're going to be fine. Thank you for your help. You got me through the hard part. Thank you. Yep, you're going to be. I'm more confident now. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, you're going to be fine and then uh, you'll feel very, you know, you'll feel very good afterwards. Let's we'll apologize see. to you that I'm going to miss um, two of the classes because I'm going to do a trip with all my children for the oh, nice. of my birthday. Yeah, so um, I probably will miss two classes and the one that you're not teaching, uh, but then I'll be back for the last one. Right. The last one is going to be, I think that I said on the 10th. Uh, yeah, June yeah. 10th. So we have today, then the 27th will be the next, because not next week, I'll be in Virginia, and then June 3rd and June 10th. Okay. Well, I'm in Maryland, so if you get stuck on the way from <laughs> New York, I'm here. Where, where are you going to be? Uh, actually, my kids have put together this trip to Turks and Caicos. It's my birthday oh, wow. a weekend. So two are out in California and my married son is in the upper peninsula of Michigan. So we I've always been... wanted to go there. Oh, uh, well, he would love to host you. He's <laughs> got an extra bedroom and they love company. If you can deal with two wild little Indians that are delicious. Ah, delicious Indians. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I've got five grandchildren. Well, I've, so I've had good. a late start, but the two I have so far are worth the wait. There you go. All right. We're going to, um, I have the page numbers for uh, Lev Shalem and Sim Shalom. So I am going to start on three, three, 16, I think it is. Well, I sent it anyway. What I did was I pulled out the, the, the nice song parts, not the parts that the cantor does. And on left Shalim, I think it's 316. And they start, we start with the blessing. So I sent three, I yeah, sent three pages and then I cut and paste because, you know, we're not going to do every, every single word that would take a few hours, but that's the cantor's role. That's not the, you know, the con congregants. So we will do the singing part and I'm going to give a little introduction and, uh, and there's Beryl. Let's see, where's Beryl? I'm here. Let me here. see. Hi, Beryl. Hello. How are you? you you're in a mood to sing? <laughs> Never am I in the mood to sing. Oh. Never ever. Really? I can't sing to save my life. And um oh, well. it is it is definitely not Carol, did you get what I sent? Yes, I did, but I also just found it in my central. Oh. Okay. Um we said we were gonna start with Hatikva because everybody wanted to practice that. You were one of them. Let me see. Uh, 448 in Shalom. Let me see. It's it. I want you to know in my Sim Shalom, yeah. it's part of it's what they call hymns and anthems. Uh huh. And it it starts with um with Hatikva, then comes the Star Spangled Banner, O Canada, America the Beautiful. Oh, they really go Jerusalem down. and Jerusalem of Gold. Well, that must be a, a more recent one than mine. I don't have Jerusalem of Gold. I don't have all of those. That's why I sent Jerusalem. Okay, so this anyway, is, this is... 1988. It's not so recent. <laughs> oh. Maybe that was a better edition than the one that we got because yeah. in mine, let's see, in my Sim Shalom, that's because I did last week, um, Tickle was on 827. I'm just going to check it out. Just curious now. Well, this is a little one because it's it starts the, the whole chapter like and it's on page 395. So it's not really they don't okay. I see O Canada in English. I see Hatikva in English and Hebrew. Oh yeah. The Star Spangled Banner in English, America the Beautiful America. Wow. Jerusalem yes. and Jerusalem of Gold. 
I don't See, know if Mount Jerusalem gold. I had the whole thing all together for my No, and then it goes into Yom HaShoah, <laughs> which is very different. Yes. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Hi to the two Sherry's. Hello. Sherim. Okay, two <laughs> Sherry's. Two for the price of one. Two Actually, Sherry's. it's funny. We have three Sherry's in the group, and we all spell our names differently. Right. It's funny. Okay, let me just take a quick attendance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So tonight is uh, supposed to be there at six. Dinner. Oh, well, yeah, dinner. Okay. And then 7.15 schmooze and 7.30 service. Schmooze. All right, Sherry Fox. Here. I didn't Sherry even Lugan. look. I think I have, I think I have. You're leading something. Sadi Katama, I think. Um, I think that's what I'm doing. I'll take a look. Uh, so we have Sherry, Sherry, and oh, we have the two Sherrys. All right, I have the printout. No, I have the wrong thing. Um, Wait, just a second. I have the printout. I have. To be good if I looked at it. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm starting off with Lakuna Ranana and Sherry Fox, Sadi Katama. Sadi Katama. What page does it say? Does it say? Page 28, and that would be in left shoulder. 28. That's what it says. Oh, there it is in the middle. I see it. Okay. So, okay. What about in Sim Shalom? Where is it? Make sure you get those ay ay ay's correct. Where is it in Sim Shalom, please? Okay. Alice, how are you? Okay. How are you doing? Who passed away? Who passed away? My husband's brother. Oh, gee. That, that's... And, yes. And his mother passed away in November. Oh, so gee. This, we yes. are... Uh, and that's yeah. it. So that's, that's all gone. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's that's yes. an awful year. That's just yes. not a year to remember for good. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not good. All right, but it's good to see you. Oh, thank you. All right. And we got Diana. Okay. Who else? Okay, I'm checking in. Michelle, I don't see you. Are you there? I am here. I just can't get the video to go on. I may have to go out and try again. So okay. we're, um, I yeah. mean, anyway. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Let's thank see you. If I got everybody, I've got Alice, Beryl, Beth, Diana, Michelle, Sherry, and. Oh, I'm messing Sherry. up the list. Oh, Rhoda. Good. What page is it on? Sherry, what page is it on? Which one? Sadi Katama. 28. No, I just the last line. I'm messing up the melody. and then then go to that last that's the line the last line i'm messing up the last one to leave a that's the only line okay the rest of it i kind of know pretty much by heart but okay yeah 
Okay. Okay. I'll just run right. through it. As a long couple as you times. get the I I is correct. Okay. I was worried about the I I I. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> those of you, uh, so I sent three pages and I did my famous cut and paste so that you wouldn't be doing the Cantor's lines. And I tried to pick out the melodic parts. Um, the pages that I sent you were from Lev Shalem. I do have the pages for Sim Shalom. I don't have any other um, Sidorum with pages. So you're always welcome to look in the table of contents of your own Sidor and find Hallel. Hallel are Psalms of praise. It's a group of six. Uh, Psalms 113, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And when you get to 18, it's Oiskeschlept. It's like in pieces because it's um it goes up to this 30 lines. So they have sections of it spread out. And then there's one of the Psalms, which is only about three lines. So they vary. And I didn't know if that was cut. So I went to find, I looked in my big book under Psalms. And yeah, that's a three line, three liner. So there you go. Some are big, some are small, some are middling. And there we are. We said we would practice Hatikva. I gave you last week the pages. If not, see if you can find it. In Leb Shalem, it's on page 448 on the bottom. You don't have to stand. I'll forgive you. I'm wearing a necklace that's made with the rockets that were sent to the border um, cities. This is um, made from the Tilim, which were the missiles that were sent uh, in, in one of the many skirmishes we've had with um, Gaza. And this Israeli artist took the metal from the missiles that were sent over and he made roses and he sold them and the money went to um, above ground uh, shelters. So, when that siren sounds and you're in the street with very little time to get down. So that's what it went for. And then this, my husband gave me this and, and it's uh, made from that metal, Jerusalem. So something nice. It looks so, like it's shaped like Israel. Is that that's exactly what it is. Yep. And the, and the little stone is supposed to be Jerusalem. So yeah. Um, but it's, it's significant because it's, you know, they use that money for something life-saving. Okay, so does everybody have Hatikva or know it? And we mm -hmm. can sing it. Okay, no. one, two, three. Page 316. Hallel is like when you say hallelujah, praise the Lord. And that's what hallel, the root is hallel. So Seder Hallel is the order of the Hallel service. And I'm going to give you a couple of notes that I wrote down. Okay, so it's 
these are six um, Psalms, and you can find them in the book of Psalms, 113 through 118. They were sung in the temple in Jerusalem by the Levites, and they're Psalms of gratitude, thanksgiving. Okay, because, and they're set on festivals, and the festivals are happy times. It's one time in, in a Jewish life when they're happy, happy occasions. So the festivals. So you have the Shalosh Regalim, which would be Sukkot and Pesach and Shavuot. So we say Hallel then. Um, the time it's set in the service, it's in uh, the Shacharit, in the morning service. It's said after the Amidah in the morning service. So people who have Torah readings have a little extra time to look at the Torah reading. Okay, so it's in the Shacharit before the, before the Torah service. Okay, so Pesach, Sukkot, Shavuot, it's also said on Hanukkah, that's, a, that's festive, it's not a festival. It's said on Rosh Chodesh, which is a happy time, welcoming the new month. And more recently, it's said on Yom Ha'atzma'ut, because there's really no, yet no established service for Israel Independence Day. And this May 28th, Saturday night, will usher in Yom Yerushalayim, which celebrates the reunification of the old city, which was in Jewish hands, and the um, uh, and the, the the old the new city, which was in uh, Jewish hands, and the old city, which was in Jordanian hands, and that was after uh, during the 1967 the Six Day War. So that's when it happened. My husband recently saw some yeshiva girls wearing jackets that said 55. So that must be 55 years that Jerusalem has been a united city from 1967. Okay, so um, even though there's still a lot of problems on the Temple Mount with Arabs uh, and, and uh, mm -hmm. Arabs who live, Israeli Arabs and non-Israeli Arabs um, who live in the occupied territories, it's still a time for uh, rejoicing because when in, in 1967, after 2000 years, our beloved Yerushalayim was united as one city. Um, the themes are basically praising God, especially for delivering, delivering the Israelites from bondage, from Egyptian bondage. So you'll see that in some of the, um, when you read the words in English. This is not one of the 613 mitzvot that are found in the Torah. It's outside the Torah, but um, the rabbis came up with this and the blessing says that God commands us to recite it. We'll go over the, we'll start with the blessing. Um, interesting, there's a half halal recited on the last six days of Passover. And that is, is interesting. It's like has to do with Midrash because uh, the idea of of rejoicing over those Egyptians going in when the sea was parted and their chariots and people, the soldiers, Chayalim died, um, is not a Jewish thing. Rejoicing when, when even your enemies are killed, even though they wish to kill you and they're pursuing you. So the idea is on the last six days of Passover, the Egyptians suffered. And the idea is we cut the Halal, we do the half, to show that we are lessening our joy when we're saying it. Only Jews would do that. <laughs> Only Jewish people would think about, oh, we have to think about our enemies. We, we, they were pursuing us, but, but they died. And so we have to feel bad about it. Okay, that's, that's Yiddish guide for you. Um, some of these uh, Psalms elevate the ordinary person to a place of honor that shows that everybody, every soul, every, every Jew has, um, has honor to him. So there's gratitude, joy, going from a lowly place to a place of honor. You'll see in some of the English. All right, um, we start with the blessing and that is what I gave you at the top. And the blessing is, the beginning is like all blessings. That's Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'sivanu Likro Et HaHalel. So the cantor would do that first and then the congregation. So the last 
couple of words say, Vitsivanu, and commanded us, God commanded us, blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who commanded us, who had us, sanctified us, Kiddushanu, you see Kodesh, the mitzvotav with his um, mitzvot, and commanded us, Likro, to read Halal. Okay? So it starts with Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, let's, oh, I'm going to try to get through all the melodies. Um, so, and they're done on past with two. So. Hallelujah, 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 Abde Adonai. Oh, yes, hallelujah, yes. hallelujah, hallelujah, et Shem Adonai. Yehi Shem Adonai mevorach, me atavi adolam. Yehi Shem Adonai mevorach. May Atavi Ad Olam. Sherry, do you know the melody? You're singing a different one than we sing in synagogue. Well, which one do you want to do? Hallelujah. 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 Day Adonai. Hallelujah. That's what I was doing. There's another, there's another one that's. Uh, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. No, but that's not this one. No. That's a different song. Hallelujah, that would be. Hallelujah, 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 that's probably from Passover. That's it. That's like Passover. Ram al kokoyim adonai al hashamayim kevodo mi kadonai eloheinu hamagbi la shavet hamashbi li lirot ba shamayim uva aret mi kimi me akbardal me ashpo jarim evyon Lehoshivi in the divim, in the dive amo. Moshivi a carrot a bite, aim a banim smeha. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It's just so many. There's, there's a lot of ones that start with hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe it just starts like that. Hallelujah, of day Adonai. Hallelujah, shame Adonai. He shame Adonai. Me vorach. Me atavi Adonai. Okay, and then the other part I did. So, so it's uh, slower, slower. Does anybody know a melody for this? And you guys want to. Let's just go over some of the words first, and then maybe we could try it with the melody. It starts with hallelujah, and then hallelujah of day. So I'll say it and say it after me. Let's just make sure we can read it. Okay, I want to see, is there anybody else here? Uh, Eddie? Okay, I'll just say Eddie. All right. Okay. All right, so the first word is hallelujah, and then Hallelujah of Day Adonai. Hallelujah of Day Adonai. Hallelujah et Shem Adonai. Hallelujah et Shem Adonai. So here we're praising God. It starts with Hallelujah, and you can see the words joyfully praise God. Yehi Shem Adonai Mivorach. Yehi shame Adonai Mevorach. Me ata va'ad olam from now and until forever. Me ata va'ad olam. 
Mi Mizrach Shemesh. Mi Ad Mivo O. Ad Mivo O. Me Hulal Shame Adonai. Me Hulal Shame Adonai. Ram al kol goyim Adonai. Ram al kol goyim Adonai. Okay, now when they use the word goyim, um, Jewish people, especially Yiddish speakers, have used the word goyim in a uh, not nice way. Right. And probably you heard it from your grandparents or your parents. Uh, uh, or older Jews, but the word goyim, like lo yisagoy el goy cherev, it means nation. There's 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 nothing negative about it. When in the Torah they use the word goyim, lo yisagoy el goy cherev, nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Lo yis um, lo yil medu lo yil od they will not learn another war. So it's nation. That's that's it. That's what the Hebrew means. What what in the shtetls in Eastern Europe, where where some of our grandparents came from, what they used as sort of a, a I guess a crypto a secret language was talking about the goyim, and it meant the Christians, the non-Jews. Well, nations. Israel is 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 a nation. Okay, so that's. That's the way it was used. We, I think this generation doesn't, doesn't use that um, anymore like that. So Ram al kol goyim, goyim, Adonai al hashamayim kivodo. Al hashamayim kivodo. Yeah, even look at the trend. High above every nation is Adonai, beyond the heavens is God's glory. So just a nation. Me now you see the word Adonai, you're putting a prefix ka. So you say me kadonai eloheinu. Me kadonai eloheinu. Hamagbihi. Hamagbihi. La Shavit. Hamash Pili Hamash Pili Lear Oat Ashamayim Okay, and so that's the first part. Then then where the arrow is Miki me Mickey me Mickey me May Afar Dal. May Ashpot Yarim Evion Lahoshivi Lahoshivi Im Nadivim Im Im Nidive Im Nidive Amo 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 Moshivi Moshivi A carrot A carrot A bait A bait Aim Habanim Aim Habanim Smeha Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Everybody got that right. <laughs> what does smecha mean? And and there that's a sin, not a shin. It's on the left, right? It's no sin to have a dot on the left. Smecha. What if I say Ani smecha me oh joy or happiness? Happy, happy, right? Smecha. Happy. All right, and we'll do then the bit say just from afterwards. So let's see, Sherry, can we get started on this melody? Let me see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, 
So let's try it. Let's try it to do it slowly, okay? Hallelujah, Hallelujah, me shame Adonai Ram al Koboyim Adonai Al Hashamayim Kibodo Mi Kadonai Elohi Hamash Pili Lero Hamash Pili Lero Bashamayan Uva Ares Miki Mi May Afarda May Ash Pot Yarim Evion Leho Shivi in the Divim in the Divay Mo Shivi a carrot Im habanim smecha, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay, now the next one has a different melody, but Sait Yisrael. Okay, so we did Psalm 113. That's the top part of the page that I sent you. Okay, that's the whole thing. And then some, so if you could see the very small, at the bottom of the page, you see very small letters. It says Tehillim, Psalms, and it has a kuf, yud, dalit. The kuf is 100, the yud is the number 10, and the dalit is four. So that makes 114, 110 and four. So that's how I know. And the, um, the number of the psalm comes at the end. See, it's at end. So when it starts with Seit Yisrael, that's the beginning. And on this page, at the end of page 316, it tells you, Kuf Yudal, that's the end of Psalm 114. So on this page, you have 113 and 114. Like I said, the 118 is very long and you'll see a lot of pieces of it is broken into pieces, <clears throat> but these two are fairly short, okay? Okay, so a um, uh, question was, I think in the, one of the books and it said on Psalm 13, what kind of God does this Psalm picture? And if you looked at the English, is it just for Jews? No, to all nations. Okay. Okay. How do you know? What does it say? What are the words? I above every nation is Adonai. Okay, from the east to where the sun sets to the west. Right in the middle. High above then, every nation is Adonai. Okay, raising the poor. It doesn't say the poor in Israel from the dust. So in this one, it's giving... A regular person honor, raising that person up. And that idea of raising up from the dust is also in our um, Amida. Okay, so it's for everybody. Hallelujah. Joyfully praise God. It doesn't say who. Celebrate, O faithful servants of Adonai. Whoever believes in Adonai, celebrate. This is for you. Okay, 
So that's very universal. That's not very narrow. It's a, it's a universal um, a prayer. It's very nice. It's very nice. Okay, so 114. Now we're going to um, see that all of creation, this one we do on Passover. And the, the, where you see the arrow, that part, I will say, well, whoever's leading the Seder in Passover, okay. everybody repeats after that. If you've been to a, a Seder where the leader knows Hebrew, then their leader will, will lead you in that. It's really nice. So the beginning, but say Israel. So the um, all of creation is, is celebrating and, and we're so happy we got out of Egypt. So look, when the people of Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a foreign nation, Judah became God's holy place. The people of Israel became God's dominion. And this is the fun part. The sea took flight, the Jordan flowed backward. Mountains pranced like rams. That's interesting. Hills like newborn lambs. So this is a fun one. We all, I always love to leave this one at, at our say. Okay, so this one goes like this. Let's say Yisrael me Mitzrayim Beit Yaakov me am loes Hayita Yehuda lekodesh Yisrael mamshalotav Hayam Ravayanos Hayarden Yisovliyahor Heharim rakaducha elim Givot kivnezon And then it goes into the repetition. Okay, so let's do the. Uh, a repetition. Did somebody just come on? Let's see. Okay. Okay. So um, I'll do it. You repeat after me. Malacha Hayam. Malacha Hayam. Kitanus. Kitanus. Ayarden. Ayarden. Give Give out, me live nay, me live nay. Eloia Ako, Eloia Ako. Now that's Eloa, and it doesn't happen that much in Hebrew where you have a hey and you have a patach under it. It's not Eloha, it's Eloa. Okay, Eloa. Yaakov, so we always love this. The the hills, the hills are alive. The hills <laughs> and the mountains are dancing, and 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 all of nature is happy because the Jews are liberated. Okay, we came out of Egypt, and everybody is happy. So nature gets into the act here. This is kind of interesting. Okay. Um, so that's Bitsait Yisrael. So Bitsait Yisrael gives you a clue. So Bitsait means in going out. 
Israel going out, Mi Mitzrayim. So this one, this particular Psalm is definitely about, uh, it, that's why it's used, um, well, we use it on Passover, but uh, Israel going out, Mi Mitzrayim from Egypt, the house of Jacob, Me Amlois, okay, from a foreign nation. So that one is very nice and it's always um, a highlight. Uh, we always love that on um, Passover. Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, so Psalm 115. Let's see, Psalm 115. Okay, so God, in this one, God is blessing the people, but also, interesting, the non-Jews who would join, who want to join in Jewish worship. So one of the phrases that I always like to say is coming out of Egypt, they had a mixed multitude. So what does a mixed multitude mean? Not just Jews. Is it just Jews? No, not just Jews. Not just those Egyptians, those people who wanted to go. Those Egyptians who wanted to leave. The mixed multitude. It wasn't just Jews, and and uh, the mixed and don't um, and so don't sell those people short. They came out. They wanted to be part of the the Jewish nation. That was their chance. So it says those who joined. God blesses people, also non-Jews who joined Jewish worship. Jewish worship. Okay, those who are Yirei Adonai means in fear of or awe of. So, you know, um, for a while there, teenagers were saying, oh, that's awesome. But now awesome could mean great. They meant awesome, dude. That is, that's really great. But in the Torah, fear and awe, when, when we say, you know, we are in fear of God, you're out and I, we're also in awe. So while you're respecting someone, if you were to go to Buckingham Palace, and have an audience with Queen Elizabeth, it would be an awesome experience. It would be out of the ordinary, a little frightening. You may not know what you what the customs are, how to curtsy, how to bow, what to say, your highness, your majesty, nice to see you. <laughs> you know, like in with awesome things is a little bit of fear. The first time I ever read Torah, I was in total fear. My knees literally were shaking. My hand was shaking. I had to use the other hand to stop it because I had never read from the Torah before and the words were swimming in front of my eyes. And it, it was so awesome. It was unbelievable. Last week when I read Torah, this Torah we're using is a little one. Now I studied hours and hours. And when I got to the end of the line, the word for God was like light and light, was stretched out. It's a small Torah, but this word was stretched out. And I did a double take because I hadn't seen this particular reading, which had a lot of Adonai stretched out and it looked different. So I'm reading all of a sudden and, I'm, exactly. and it's like a horse coming to the barrier and not being able to jump so over. So I'm looking at it. And I'm going, oh, I know that word. That means Ladonai. And I said it. But I, I think I must have stopped for a second in awe. And I'm telling you, it was fear. <laughs> that awe was Carol, fear. it's so interesting because the word that we studied last week with Anne in her class in the morning yeah. class was Yure. That's the word yes. we studied from Kadoshim last week. You're right. In fear of. Yure Adonai. That phrase means in fear of or awe. And I do find that those two are definitely related. And um, that's okay. So then we're now on the next page on page two, Psalm 115. So uh, the cantor usually starts, let's see, Adonai. Okay, he says, Adonai zecharanu yevarech. And then it goes, yevarech et beit Yisrael, yevarech et beit acharon. Yevarech yere Adonai Akitanim im hagdolim the little ones and uh, kids and adults Yosef Adonai Alechem Alechem bial benechem beruchim atem Adonai 
O say Shamayim Vaars Hashamayim Shamayim Ladonai the Haaretz Natani the Adam Lo Hamitim Yahallelujah Biloko your day to Huma Va Anachnu Nevarechia Me Atavi Adolam Vanachnu nevarechya me ataviyad olam. Hallelujah. Okay, and in very small print, um, I um, yeah, you can see Tehilim Psalms, and there's the kuf and a tet and a vav. So kuf is a hundred, tet is nine, and vav is six. So nine and six is fifteen. So that's the end of Psalm 115. Now, I did not print, if you look uh, in your Siddur on page 317, I didn't give you the first paragraph because that's the one when they do a half halal, they eliminate that, okay? But they'll do the one I, that I did. So why don't we just go through the words? And uh, there's a lot of words that you know. Adonai, um, Adonai Zecharanu Yivarech. Okay, a God remembers us, will bless. Okay, Zachar, remember. And Yivarech at Beit Israel, he will bless the house of Israel. Yivarech at Beit Acharon, the house of Aaron, the first high priest. Yivarech, Yere Adonai, he will bless those who revere God, whoever. There's no saying about Israelites here. Yivarech, so you have. First about Beit Israel and then Beit Aharon, and then Yere, those who are in awe or fear of God. Hakatanim im Hagdolim. Katan is small, Gadol is big. These are every day. And here it doesn't mean um, children so much as uh, in um, small and um, maybe in their worthiness in the eyes of people. Uh, people who are like regular people and gedolim and, and people who are great people, people who are like average Joes and great people. He will bless, God will bless those who are in fear of God, uh, people who are modest with people who are mighty, people who are important. I like that line. <laughs> I, I mean, it shows inequality there, right? This doesn't always happen in our society. You know, people who are big shots who have a lot of money, they think that they're better than just the average guy. Okay, so why don't we go through the Hebrew? It's really nice. Yevarech et Beit Yisrael. Yevarech et Yisrael. Yevarech et Beit Aharon. Yevarech et Beit Aharon. Yevarech Yerei Adonai. Yosef Adonai Alechem. Yosef Adonai Alechem. The word Yosef. Yep. What does that Joseph. mean? Joseph. Okay. Uh, it, it is uh, Joseph, but it's also. He will add. We'll increase. He will add. Oh, add. Yo Yosef in the Torah means that that son was added on. Yosef, Joseph. Hosefa. Yosef, I don't know. Is that, is that the same root Hosefa? When we do the no. the additional. Well, it's possible. We I'm add not on sure. additional Yot. Yeah, probably. Mm hmm. But it, it is, uh, it means added on, Yosef. So it's probably, okay. Yosef Adonai Aleichem. Yeah, it probably a good observation. Probably the same. Aleichem ve'al b'neichem. Aleichem ve'al b'neichem. Now you should know this word. Beruchim atem ladonai. Beruchim atem adonai. Blessed are you by God. Ose Shemayim Va'aret. Ose Shemayim Va'aret. Who makes the heaven and the earth. 
Okay, and then with the um, Hashemayim Shemayim Ladonai. Hashemayim Ladonai. What does Hashemayim mean? The heavens. Hashemayim. The heavens are the heavens of God. The Haaretz Natan Livne Adam. The Haaretz Natan Livne Adam. The land that Can anybody God translate that? The land that God gave you. The land that God gave you. Gave and and the land He gave Natan He gave to the sons of Adam. He gave oh. Earth in in man's keeping. So if we pollute. And, and we mess it up. It's our fault. Okay. We are supposed to be the keepers of land. All right. That if you go to the beginning of um, Genesis, it'll tell you that, that we're, we're in charge of, of the animals and land and, and taking care of it. Lo hametim. Lo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, that ya, the yud and the hey, is another way of writing God. I found this line puzzling. Maybe somebody can unpuzzle me. Huh. Lo, it's not. The dead do not praise God. The lo call your day duma. And it says here, the dead do not celebrate God, nor any who go down to the grave. Uh, um, I did not. <laughs> I really didn't understand what that meant. Anybody ideas? Um. Well, uh, Rabbi uh, Art Scroll says neither did that. Oh, Rabbi raised... Art Scroll. <laughs> yes, Rabbi Art Scroll. <laughs> uh, the, the people. I love it. Rabbi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of, of blessed memory. Uh, Wait. The, people, <laughs> the people who fail to recognize God's omnipresence and influence over the world resemble the dead who are insensitive to all external stimuli and who are oblivious to reality. However, the souls of the righteous continue to praise God even after they depart from their bodies. How about that? Thank you, Alice. <laughs> I mean, when I got to that and I was, I was reading it, why are they saying that? So they're, they're differentiating between those who are the good, the good dead and the not so good dead. Yes. Right? So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, Between Golda Meir and Hitler. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. And then, Va'anachnu Nevarech Ya. Anachnu Nevarech Ya. But we, we must be goodies. We, we are the living. We will bless God. May Ata Ad Olam. May Ata Ad Olam. You may be wondering, you see that word ata is written with an ayin. If the word ata is written with an olive, it means you. If it's written with an ayin, it means now. Hmm. Okay, the word eight is time. So, so, and we, anachnu, we will bless God from now, the ad until forever. Well, that means we're gonna live forever. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are worthy of everlasting life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, now um, I got to, um, well, speed up. Uh, 116, that was um, on the second page I sent you. This has a slow melody. And if you have your um, Sidor and Lev Shalim, it's on the bottom of page 318. Here I did my little cut and paste. Um, and the yeah. melody goes along with Ezbach. Wait. Zevach toda uveshem, uveshem, uveshem. Adonai ekra nidarai, ladonai. Asha Lim Negda Na Negda Na Levo Amo Bechatz Rot Beit Adonai Betochechi Yerushalayim Bechatz Rot Beit Adonai Betochechi Yerushalayim Hallelujah 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Nice, a lot of hallelujahs. Okay, now, um, interesting. Lecha ezbach zevach toda. This is interesting because on the three pilgrimage holidays, we offer offerings to God. It says, Lecha to you, ezbach. I will offer zevach toda, a thanksgiving offering. Zevach is an offering. Zevachim are offerings. Lecha, lecha ezba, zevach toda, uveshem, uveshem, Adonai ekra. And on the name and, and, and on the name of God, I will call. So I'm, I'm offering you a gift and now I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to Thank you. This is a holiday, right? Sukkot, Shavuot, Pesach, the Shalosh Regalim, when all the Jews in Israel took their offerings, their cows or whatever they were going to offer, and they was <laughs> have uh, everybody moving their livestock to Jerusalem for a big barbecue. Okay? So that's what they did. They went to Jerusalem. That was the only place you can really offer a holy offering. You can't do it in your backyard. So don't try it. <laughs> you can't then when the temple was destroyed that's why on the passover plate we put a substitute we put an egg we can we can take an egg and we burn the shell substitute sacrifice we we can't offer in 2022 we can't offer in jerusalem sacrifices to god so that's like a substitute sacrifice we burned a shell on the egg okay we we're, we're offering. Okay, and we also have the shankbon. Okay, so lecha ezbach. Oh, let's go through some of these words. Let's say after me. Lecha ezbach. Lecha ezbach. Zevach toda. Zevach toda. Uveshem Adonai ekra. Uveshem Adonai ekra. Nedarai Ladonai Ashalem. Nedarai Adonai Ashalem. Nedana Lechol Amo. Nedana Lechol Amo. The Hatzrot Beit Adonai. The Hatzrot Beit Adonai. Okay, Chatzrot, so if you've seen pictures of the temple, Chatzrot, that's the courtyard of the temple, and that's where they did sacrifice in the courtyards of the house of God. Bitochehi. Bitochehi. There's a lot of Bitochehi with that chav, right? Bitochehi Yerushalayim. Bitochehi Yerushalayim. Okay, in your midst, in the midst of, of you, Jerusalem, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so this is where giving offerings, we're in the courtyard and every, it's packed. It's, it's like a Yankees stadium on a, on a World Series day. I mean, everybody's there with their livestock and they're going to sacrifice it there. Uh, I think it's not going to be a very pretty sight, but that's what's going to happen. All right. So that's nice. That's the end of 116. And um, I'm going to show you uh, the very tiny look on the bottom where I have Psalm 116. It says, Tehillim Kuf Tet Zion. So Kuf is 100, Tet is 9, and Zion is 7. 9 and 7 is 16. Ta da! The end of 116. Okay. The name of the psalm, the number of the psalm is always at the end. Okay. There it's on the bottom. So that's the end. That, so I gave you that piece. I didn't give you all the rest because I don't know melody and I don't recall uh, singing that. I think that the cantor does that or parts of that. We do sing okay. that. Um, we, do sing. we do sing. Where? It. Well, huh? which part? Which part? Which one? This? Which one? What you just okay. went over? So, yeah. When? No, that we sing. Yeah, but the rest of it. The part the before it? No, we don't. He does it. Right, so that the cantor probably does that. We do lecha lecha es ba se ba da 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 da
Yeah, that we sing. And you see that little red arrow? That probably is like uh, the um, authors of the um, Sidur probably gave that to, okay, this is where you jump in. Okay, this is, there's a lot of writing here and you're going to sing over there. And possibly at Halech with Nea and I, but I don't know melody for that. It doesn't, those words did not resound in my head with any melody. Any, anybody know melody for that? Well, I didn't give it to you, so. All right. So the next page. So, and I did check this out in um, a book of Psalms. And that's it. It's these, that Psalm. Now, Yud, Zion. Yud is 10. Zion. I used to teach a Zion class. That was seventh grade. 17. That's it. I double check this. I said, huh? It's only two. It is. This is a psalm. It has only two lines. There it is. So um, it goes like, Hallelu et Adonai, ko goyim, ko goyim, shabhuhu, shabhuhu, ko ha umim, ki gavar aleinu, aleinu chasto, ve'emet Adonai, le'olam, Hallelujah. That's it. <laughs> That's it, folks. And we That's do it. this. This is part of the Seder also. We sing that. We sing we it sing in the that. Seder also. Yes, yes. We sing a lot of pieces of, um, not all of Hallel, but we sing a lot of pieces. Da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum, dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-d
Leolam ki leolam chashto. And then, Yomuna, 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 Yere Adonai. There it is again. Fear of God. Ki leolam ki leolam chashto. So there's a lot of repetition. At our synagogue. So I was like, Yomuna, 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 Adonai ki. Our cantor used to do that. Our cantor yeah. always did that one for a long time. And I then think we do that one on this one. Oh, okay. I don't feel once so in bad. Well, once on. in a while he goes back to it, but mostly yeah. now he does the one Carol just did. He's I think he does that one, Sherry. I think he does that one on Sukkot. I think so. The one yeah, that does. does. That sounds that. like oh. his Sukkot, so that you know. Yeah. Uh, so Hodu, let an eye give thanks to God because it's good, because his mercy endures forever. And then Yomar Na and, and, and um, how do they turn? Thank? Oh, you will thank. I'll give thanks because his mercy is forever. Yomru Na, okay. You will declare the house of Aaron. You will praise the house of Aaron because his mercy endures. And then it just repeats. So you see that um, almost the same, but not exactly, because you have Yomru Na Veit Aharon, and then the last one is Yomru uh, Yomru Na Yirei Adonai. There's that Yirei Adonai. It always creeps in there. <laughs> that phrase is always there. And then, and then we go. Okay. Okay. And it repeats. Okay, so this has a lot of repetition, this part. Now, just want to show you. So that's part of 118, everything on that page. So you can see that there's different melodies, okay, that with the ho do let an eye, and then minha made star that one line, and then on the we'll we'll do this uh, the the next class. Um, so oziva zimra ya vaihili vishuya, and then this is kol rina, that's still part of one eighteen. That's a different melody, and pitu pitu like that's another melody, and then this is. Oh, oh, the ha kianitani, but a healing. So that's another melody. And then Anna Adonai Hoshiana, all of that until where I put the line is um, 118. And you can see on the bottom, it says Kaf uh, Aleph, that would be 21 to 29. So, and then there's more. Um, on the bottom, all of that is still part of 118, even though it's got lots of different melodies and different ideas. When you get to the end and you see um, Kaf uh, Tet, so that that is from, it's a very long song, there's 30 lines, and this is from this bottom, it goes up to 21 to 29, all the preceding. Okay, the first part is is one to twenty, and then when it says each of the following is recited twice to the bottom, that's twenty one to twenty nine. So it that is a big one. So you can't. I mean, they all are not the same size. One was like what two lines, and and this <gasps> one and it, and there's a note that says Hello? it's in sections. It looks oh my like God, I almost it looks like it's different. Class. Some. It is not. One big 118. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll spend more time on that. Not the not the twentieth. It'll be like the twenty seventh. Is that what I said? Twenty seventh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, there are some words. Very quickly, I know we're over time, but let's see if you know some of these. Um, mm -hmm. What does the word "coal" mean? Coal. All. Oh. All. Oh. 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 Cole is a voice or sound. Oh. Rina, joy. Oh, halecha. Oh, hell is a tent. It's not a curse. Uh, you mean, you mean, um, if my right 
hand forgets, if I forget Jerusalem, if I forget the old Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its cunning. Yamini, Yamini, I'm lefty, but Yamini is my right hand. And Romema, Romema, and they left, the Israelites left with their hands in the air, like triumphant. And, it, yeah. and it, that is uh, when they, they uh, you, that's in Exodus. And it says when they, they left, um, when they were on the other side, when they were safe, then they raised their hand and they were triumphant. Okay. All right. So we'll go over the last part and uh, then I'll, I'll pick up something else. But if there's any requests, let me know and I'll combine the last part of Halal and we'll, anything else you want to go over. Okay, so think hard because we don't have that many classes. We'll have, um, we have a class, we'll have three classes after this, right? Yeah, the 27th, June 3rd, and June 10th. So we have, we got three shots to make me work. <laughs> to, to find something that you would like to learn and that I will have to do uh, my homework on. Okay, but um, don't forget that you're Ray Adonai. Fear. <laughs> so that's that's interesting. I guess love and fear. I guess that's how old fathers used to, you know, want to get respect and honor from their kids, and they did it. A lot of them, uh, unfortunately, with fear.